The next story is called The Spoiled Child. The Spoiled Child. Spoiled Child. Spoiled Child. Okay? The Spoiled. The Spoiled Child. The Spoiled Child means a bad child. Okay. A long time ago, many, many years ago, I think it was not in Germany, it was not in Europe, I think it was in somewhere in Russia or somewhere around that area. Anyway, there was a couple, couple, remember, is a man and a woman, husband and wife. There was a couple, okay, this is a couple. This is a couple, this is a man and a woman and they, they were very happy together but they didn't have a child, they didn't have children, they didn't have a baby. So they really, really wanted to have a baby. And one day she got pregnant and finally they had a baby. And the baby was a beautiful little baby girl. And the mother and father were very, very happy. They named, okay, they named this girl Galinka. Galinka. Galinka was this girl's name. Mother and father loved this baby very much. And so, Every day they held the baby and they, they combed her hair. She had only a little bit of hair, but they, you know, this is a comb. They combed her hair and they, they comb, yeah, comb. They combed her head, her hair and they feed, fed. This is a past sense, feed, fed. They fed the baby. They, they um, cradle the baby, and then they comb the baby, they fit the baby, they dress the baby, and then they would spread the rug, rug, it's like a blank, blanket, the rug on the floor. They spread, spread is like, you know, they spread a, ra a rug, yes, yeah, spread a rug, and the baby will sleep on the rug. The, the, the baby will lie on the, lie on, yeah, lie, lie down, lie on the rug, and then she would sleep. Now, they loved Galinka so much that Galinka became, became five years old, Galinka was five years old, but the mother and father still combed her hair and then still fed her, you know, with spoon. They said, here, Galinka, eat. So they still fed the Galinka and they dressed her and they cuddled, you know, they hugged her. Oh, beautiful baby. And then they spread spread the rug, this is a rug, okay, and Galinka will lie down on the rug and sh she will go to go take a nap. Now, Galinka is not five years old. The Galinka is now 15 years old. Galinka is now 15 years old, but Galinka didn't do anything. Galinka did nothing. But the mother and father did everything for Galinka. Galinka, he, she was 15, but she didn't, she didn't help her mother at home. She didn't help her father. She didn't help her father in, in the yard or on the field. She just lay down and she just ate and she just played around and she didn't do anything. Mother and father did everything and she did nothing. She did nothing. 
mother and father. Spoiled. Mother and father spoiled the child. Spoiled Galinka. Mother and father didn't teach her to work. Mother and father did not teach Galinka to, to, be, a, to be a good girl. Mother and father spoiled the, the girl. Now, Galinka now was, I don't know how, long, how old, 25? Galinka now became 25 years old and she was beautiful. She was a beautiful girl. She had long arms, long legs, and she was tall. She was, had a very beautiful white skin, and she looked like a Russian ballerina. She was a beautiful girl. Mother and father were very proud of her, and they loved her very much. But Galinka was getting older and older. The men came, and they said, Wow, a beautiful girl. People, men, boys, men came and looked at, looked, at, looked at Galinka and they said, oh, that's a beautiful girl. But they said, we don't want to marry Galinka. Galinka is spoiled. She doesn't wash dishes. She doesn't clean the house. She doesn't go get the water. She doesn't go outside and work. She is not a working woman. They said, we don't want a spoiled woman for a wife. We want a working woman, the men said. And so men did not want to marry Galinka. Mother and father were getting older and they were thinking, oh, what is going to happen to us, to our Galinka? We are getting older and Galinka is getting older and we want Galinka to get married, they said. But nobody wanted to marry Galinka because Galinka was a spoiled child, spoiled daughter. Now, but things can happen. One day, well, it's a long time ago, so it's not a car. It must have been a cart. But anyway, let's say there was a car. A car came, okay? This is Galinka's, Galinka's house, okay? And then, well, I could, I could make it a cart, let's see. Okay, it's a long time ago, so it's not a car. So this is it, a horse, okay, it's a horse. And the horse, a man was riding, and here's the horse. Okay, the horse. It's, it's, a, it's a fat horse. Okay, now this is a cart. I don't know. Maybe like this. Okay. And so a man came and uh, his wife was sitting in there and a, a man was sitting there. A young man was sitting. It was a man. It was a man. Oh, I will write it better. I would draw it better, okay. It was a, it was a, a man and a woman and a young man. His name was Ivan, okay. Ivan and Ivan's mother and Ivan's father drove by Galinka's house. Galinka was outside and she was by the cherry tree. Okay, it was a cherry tree and Galinka was by the cherry tree. She was, I don't know what she was doing, but she was outside. Ivan saw Galinka. Ivan saw Galinka. And Ivan said, oh, that girl is so beautiful. I want to marry her, Ivan said to the father. 
So father came and he came to the door. He knocked on the door and he said, excuse me. He said, okay, he is, this is Ivan's father. Mother and father came out and Ivan's father said, my son, Ivan just saw your daughter. He would like to marry your daughter. Is that all right? The father, father said to Galinga's mother and father. Okay. Ivan really fell in love, fell in love with Galinka because Galinka was beautiful. Mother and father, they were very happy to hear that he wanted to marry Galinka. Ivan wanted to marry Galinka. But mother said to the mother said to Ivan's father, you know what? We are very happy that you want to your son wants to marry my uh, daughter, but there are three things I have we have to tell you. There are three things we have to tell you. She said, you know, my daughter, our daughter is very, very spoiled. She is very spoiled. We spoiled her. She said, the mother said, my daughter Galinka, she does not clean the house. My daughter Galinka, she never sweep. Sweep, okay, this is, this is a broom, a broom, a broom. Broom, you sweep the floor, okay? This is a broom. My daughter never sweeps the floor with a broom because, you know, the dust, the dust, you know, the dust, the dust, dust gets in her eyes. And so she never sweeps the floor uh, with, the, with, a, with a broom. And then Ivan's father said, okay, that's fine. And then she said, second, my daughter never carry, carries a heavy bucket carry, yeah? You carry heavy suitcase or you carry heavy bag. She said, my daughter never carries heavy buckets because her shoulders are very, very delicate. She's got very weak shoulders and she has never carried heavy stuff. And so she never carries heavy buckets. She said. And Ivan's father said, okay. And then she said, the last thing is that, oh please, she said, please do not shout. Shout. Shout is like, ah! Please do not shout to my daughter. Please do not say any bad words to my daughter. Please do not say any harsh words, okay? Harsh words is like, you know, there are good words and bad words. There are nice words and bad words. And there are some harsh words. Harsh words is like, it's like, um, you know, you're stupid. Or you stink. Or you are, you're slow. You're dumb. You know, like harsh words is like the words that boom, hurt your feelings, okay? Harsh, um, sharp words. So she said, please do not say any harsh words to my daughter because her heart is very delicate. And so, Ivan's father said, do not worry. We never say any harsh words in our family. So, mother and father said, okay, then you can have our daughter. And so, uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? He, uh, uh, the Galinka sat in the back with uh, Ivan, and the mother sat and father, and they went back to their home. Okay? Now, now, Galinka came to Ivan's house. And Ivan's house was a big house. Ivan's father was a big farmer. 
he was a farmer, but he he owned a big uh, farm 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 property, and he was a big rich farmer. Now, they came to the house, and when they came back to the house, mother, uh, Kalinka's new mother, okay, new mother, yeah, this is her old mother, okay, the real mother, and this is her new mother, this is her mother-in-law, mother-in-law, okay, this is his mother, and she is Galinka's mother-in-law. Okay, so Galinka's mother-in-law is a nice woman. As soon as they came home, she went into the kitchen. She washed her potatoes. She washed her potatoes, and she boiled the potatoes. Boil. Okay. She put the potatoes in there, and then under and under, uh, on the fire, and she boiled the potatoes. And then she went outside, she killed a chicken, and she baked chicken. And then she went, uh, oh, she made a, uh, she put the, she put the, uh, you know, in the bowl, she put flour, she put uh, water, she put yeast, and she put, I don't know what else, butter, and she put flour, and she put them all together, and she made a dough. E O U dough, dough is like a donuts. Dough is something that you make bread. Okay, so when the, 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 the wet stuff, you put the water and flour and yeast and sugar and something else and, and salt and you put it together. That's a dough. She made a dough and then she put it on in the oven and she baked bread. Okay. So she made bread, she baked bread, as she baked bread, she boiled potatoes and she baked um, a chicken and then she went downstairs and she picked, uh, she got some wine and she put all the food on the table and she clapped, clap. She clapped her hands. Everybody come to the table. Food is ready, she said. So Galinka sat down, and father sat down, mother sat down, Ivan sat down, and they had dinner together. And Galinka was happy because she thought, oh nice, my new mother is as good and nice as my old mother, or my real mother. I'm so happy, she said. The next morning, when she, when next morning, next morning at 5 a.m., early in the morning, Galinka was sleeping, and then the father came and he said, Galinka, wake up. Galinka, woke up and she rubbed her eyes, rub, she rubbed her eyes and she said, where are we going? Where are we going? Why did you wake me up? And then father said, we are going to work to the, we are going to go to, we are going to go to work. She said, where? And he said, of course, to the field, cornfield. We have to go and work. Kalinka said, I'm not going. And Ivan said, why? And she said, oh, she said, I don't want to go to work in the field. She said, a hoe is heavy. A hoe, hoe is a... A, a gardening tool. It's a like a shovel. Okay, a hoe is heavy. She said. And then mother said, "Oh, it's all right. Galinka can stay home and she can clean the house." She said. And so the three people left the house and they went to work. But Galinka didn't wake up. 
she went back to sleep. And she didn't wake up until 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. And she was hungry, so she went to the kitchen, but there was nothing in the kitchen. And so she went outside, and there was a cherry tree. And so she picked some cherries. She picked some cherries. She ate some cherries. And she sat down under the cherry tree. And she sat down, and she took a nap. And she didn't do anything in the house. At 6 p.m., three people came home. Three people came home. But the house was dark. Dishes were not washed. The floor was not swept. Sweeping, yeah? Swept. The floor was not swept. Nothing was done. The food was not ready. The fire was not lit. The water, the, the flour was not watered. Nothing was done. But mother did not shout. The mother did not say any harsh words. Mother went to the kitchen. She was, she rolled up her sleeves, rolled up. She rolled up her sleeves and she washed the potatoes and boiled the potatoes. And then she went outside and <coughs> killed the chicken and baked chicken. And then she made a dough and she baked bread. And then she went downstairs to the cellar and picked up the wine and she said to the people, she said to the family, she, she clapped her hands and she said, everybody, supper's ready, come to the table. Guess what? Kalinka was the first one to run to the table. She sat down and she swung, swing, swing and swung. She swung her legs. She said, I'm hungry, hungry, she said. My father sat down, mother sat down, Galinka sat down, mother sat down, Galinka sat down, and, and, and Ivan sat down. Mother, get, you know, she baked bread, and so gave mother, gave the bread to father. Handed the bread, in you know, a loaf of bread to father. The father divided, divided, you know, you know broke off. She, he divided the bread into three pieces. He gave the first one to his wife and he said, Mother, thank you for a hard work today, for your hard work today. He gave the second one to Ivan. Ivan, thank you for the work today. And he gave the third one to himself. And so the mother said to father, Mother, a father, where is the bread for Galinka? And then father said, no work, no food. Galinka didn't work today. She's not hungry. Galinka stood up and she bit her lip. Bite, yeah. Mm. Bit, bit her lip. And she went, mm, no food. And she went to her bedroom and she ah, cried. The next morning, at five o'clock in the morning, father came to Galinka and he said, Galinka, wake up, time to go to work. Galinka woke up and she said, I'm not going. Father's, uh, Ivan said, why? And she said, oh no, I'm not going. The sun, the sun will shine. My face is white and beautiful. I do not want to burn my face. Suntan, I don't want to get a suntan, <coughs> she said. So, Mother said, all right, Ivan, uh, uh, Galinka can stay. So the same thing happened. They, went, they all went to work, okay? But Galinka didn't, didn't work. She just slept all until 10 o'clock. 
and she woke up and she ah oh, oh, she stretched stretch she stretched and then oh, oh she yawned yawned she yawned she yawned and she stretched and she's hungry so she went to the kitchen but there's nothing for her to eat so she went outside and she went to the cherry tree she picked some cherries and she ate some cherries she sat down on the cherry tree and she took a nap and she didn't do anything at 6 p.m they came back the same thing happened came back and then they the house is dark nothing is done the floor is dirty, the dishes are dirty, no laundry is done, the, 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 the flour is not watered, uh, food is not cooked, the fire is not lit, nothing is done. But the mother did not shout. She did not say any harsh words. And she just rolled up her sleeves and she baked bread and I don't know what she else what else she did she did. I don't think she kick kick she killed the chicken again, but maybe she killed the chicken again. And she made the dough and um, the food is ready. So she said, Everybody comes to the table. Food is ready. And guess what? Karinka was the first one to come to the table. She sat on the table, she sat at the table, not on the table. She sat at the table and she swung her legs and she said, hungry, hungry, she said. Mother sat down, father sat down, and well, Ivan sat down, and mother gave the bread to the father. Father divided the bread into three pieces. He gave the first one to his wife, the second one to his son, and third one to himself. And the mother said, where is the bread for Karinka? And then my father said, Karinka didn't work. No work, no food. Karinka bit her lip and he went to her bedroom and cried. The next day, that's on the third morning, Karinka woke up. Galinka woke up at 4.30 a.m. She was ready to go to work. But three people had already gone. They didn't wake me up, Galinka said. But she didn't go back to sleep. She rolled up her sleeves and she took the broom and she swept the floor. She went to the kitchen, she washed the dishes. And then she did the laundry. She washed the, you know, dresses and pants and and uh, 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 jackets. And then she went outside and she carried the heavy buckets of water. She watered the flowers. And then she uh, she did other things in the house. She cleaned the. Uh, uh, she swept, swept the floor. She swept the floor with a broom. And then what she did was. She even spun, okay, spinning, she even spun. And then she, what she did was, yes, she rolled up her sleeves and she uh, baked bread. Uh, no, she rolled up her sleeves and she washed the potatoes and she boiled the potatoes. And then she went outside and she killed the, killed the chicken and she baked the chicken. She made the dough and she uh, baked the bread. And she went downstairs and picked up the wine. And, and she made, she, you know, when she, she did all the things, okay? Now, three people came back at 6 p.m. When they came back, they saw the house was lit. The light was on, okay? House was lit. The lights is on. The house was lit. And they smelled good smell of dinner baked chicken and their their eyes lit okay lighted okay oh galinka's been working the food is ready and so they came back and then galinka welcomed the three people and she said welcome home the dinner is ready she said and so the three people sat together, uh, no, no, four people, sorry, the mother and father and Galinka and Ivan. 
Kalinka gave the bread to father. The father took the bread and divided the bread into four pieces. He gave the first one to his wife. He said, thank you, mother, for working hard today. He gave the second one to his son. Ivan, thank you for working hard today. And he took the third one to himself and he gave the biggest piece to Galinka. And he said, Galinka, you worked hard today. Thank you for your work. This is your bread. Oh, Galinka took the bread and ate the bread. And the bread tasted so sweet. Galinka was never a spoiled child anymore after this. The end.